Hi kiddos, it's Pastor Elizabeth here. Hey, so I've been praying for you. I know many in the church have been praying for you because this week you started school. And you can do this. I know that you're working hard. I know that your teachers and your parents, your moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas are working hard to make sure that you learn well at the start of school. So just know that you are loved and that uh, you are well supported. But I wanted to share with you something today that's been on my mind a little bit as I've been reading through the Bible this week. And I want to begin by talking about uh, something that happened in ancient times. Back when I was a kid, there was a man named Michael Jordan, and he was this amazing basketball player. Maybe you know or have heard of Michael Jordan. Maybe you even know more than I do, but I've been learning a lot about him in the last several weeks. But Michael Jordan was probably one of the best basketball players, and maybe even athletes. And he worked really hard, and many people looked up to him. In fact, there was this commercial that came out when I was young, and I wanted to show it to you here. And it was a commercial of him drinking a drink, but the the uh, words were, be like Mike. That's what, that's what they were trying to get across. Be like Mike, work hard, shoot for the stars, you can do it. And so I was thinking about this as I was hearing it and remembering this commercial from when I was a kid. And I thought about it as I was reading uh, a passage in the Bible that said, look to Jesus. This comes out of Hebrews. Look to Jesus, who is the founder and the finisher of our faith. So as much as we can look up to people like Michael Jordan, or maybe there's some other people in your lives you look up to, uh, maybe it's great artists, maybe it's your mom and dad, maybe it's your grandma and grandpa uh, who do so much for you. And as wonderful of examples as they are for us to, to do our very best, there's one person who the Bible says is the supreme person to look up to, and that's Jesus. Jesus, the Bible says, is our founder and the finisher of our faith. What that means is that he started faith. Uh, those who followed him, believed in him, loved him, looked to him, and followed in his ways. But more than that, Jesus helps us get to the goal of our faith, which is to be with God. So he's the finisher of our faith. So as much as we can look up to folks and maybe want to be like Mike or be like you fill in the blank, right? I want to say, let's be like Jesus. Would you pray with me? Remember our prayer position. Sometimes we fold our hands, quiet our bodies, close our eyes. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much that you gave us Jesus who we can follow in his footsteps and know that our footsteps will be sure. We won't trip, we won't fall, we won't falter if we follow Jesus. So thank you for giving us your word, your Bible to, to help us understand what it means to follow Jesus and in his footsteps. We thank you that in Jesus we have a solid faith that Jesus is our number one cheerleader and gets us to the finish, gets us to where we want to be, and that's with God. So we pray the prayer for all the kids who have started school. We pray for their teachers. We pray for their parents, God, and grandparents as they support them, and they are their number one cheerleaders as they learn. Keep them well, God. Keep them safe. Keep them healthy. Keep them learning. We love you, God. Thank you for loving us. Amen. Be well. See you next time.